Captain, I'm so sorry for getting you into this mess. Captain, if we don't make it alive, I just want you to know that being your first lieutenant was a blessing of a lifetime. Um, first lieutenant? Yeah, Captain. Don't you think you're kind of over-exaggerating stuff? Oh. Follow? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome vlog. Welcome. Where are we, dude? Top of Alberta Peak, um, just on Wolf Creek Pass, Wolf Creek Ski Area. And I think we have a new record for us up here. 47 minutes, 34 seconds from the car, so. Day one of Nationals Training Camp number one, right? Yep. All right, thanks for tuning in. And what should they do? Get out and, and do. do so, so as to, to be. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> hey, First Lieutenant, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, Captain. We are going to catch our dinner. That's right. I'm going to soak this for a little bit and make a nice and soft. And you're on a tributary of the of the Rio Grande River, right? Yes, for sure. All right, First Lieutenant. Remember, if you don't catch a fish, we don't eat. <laughs> okay, Jim. Do we need a bobber, or is this just a sink thing? My God, it's huge. Hey, you're, you're okay. He's huge. Oh my God. Hi, precious. Hi, baby, you're okay. No, you're not okay. <laughs> hey, you're okay, you're okay. No, you're not. <laughs> God, he's huge, babe. Oh, I feel so bad. He's so cute. What should I do? Not okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, he swallowed it. He's like in there, in there. Look! Um, do you want me to clean out the head, or are we gonna just cut out the head off? Talking here with the one-time cha ch fishing champion of Fun Valley, day watching Catherine Aylock, who just landed a 15-inch rainbow trout and an 11 and 11 and a half. How you feeling, babe? Uh, you know, it's exhilarating. We haven't fished in a long time, and it's really cool to catch your dinner and have good times, you know? It's going to be good eating tonight, huh, First Lieutenant? Yes, sir, Captain. Lead the way, fisherwoman.
Okay, we're kind of thinking this is going to be the start. We don't know. What do we know, dude? Not much. Nothing. <laughs> That's why we're here, huh? Okay, so we're going to, we got our little map here, and we're going to try to find the Nationals uh, Trail Championship course. Come on. Nama Sangha. We're back at our deer DHS track. Still incorporated some leg speed track workouts for her attempt at nationals, trails nationals. Coming up on July 30th. Yeah, just finished 6.75 hours of trail work in 93 degree heat. So I will not be doing intervals today. I will leave that to the young kid. There's a saying that champions are made in the off season. In my book, uh, The Outdoor Athlete, I said, you never get a second chance for your off season. And it's so true. And that's why in holistic fitness, we don't really have off seasons. We just change sports. 
so that the chronic variables kind of remain the same in the terms of uh, general cardiovascular and kinesthetic and mental elements, but what we do is we change the specifics according to the sport uh, as it relates to the season that we're doing. So um, even though we don't really have an off season per se, what we do is we change up our activities, our sports, and that changes the stress that's on the body, mind, and spirit. Good morning, Saga. La Plata Canyon, our backyard. And we have Deadwood Peak, maybe Silver Peak today. Uh, there's a big, thankful, precious, priceless rainstorm coming in. That's what we're up to. Come on. But we are putting on the wind jackets. It's really windy, and we're just gonna call it to Deadwood. We're not gonna do silver today. Very windy, early in the morning, and uh, so we're at Timberline. We're just gonna mount that peak, and then uh, just kind of call it good. sacred snow. It's the only snow that we can see from town. So we're going to do a little medicine prayer blessing. Right there somewhere. And that's what we're not going to do today. Really windy. And this is why it's cold. Right. 